All right. Hey, everybody. This is Dave Kramer from Kramer Unstuck, and uh, I'm going to uh, have my fourth installment of the four of the four views on the millennium. And today, uh, the view that I'm going to discuss is the dispensational uh, premillennium review which is the one that I subscribe to. And uh, because I am dispensational, I do believe that there are different dispensations of time. I believe that Israel and the church have two different, there's different individual redemptive plans uh, for uh, the Jew and the Gentile. Now, I do not believe that the Jewish people during uh, the Old Testament, during the Tribulation, or the Millennium, okay? Well, I'll say during the uh, Old Testament, there was never a works faith salvation plan. Uh, all the plans are faith. There's one plan, faith. Okay, uh, and, you know, the Jewish people looked ahead toward a Messiah. God gave them promises that he did not give to the church. Those promises that he gave in the Old Testament, we as a church can't take them and say, oh, well, now they're ours. Okay, uh, that there is a, what is called a, uh, I think it's called replacement theology, and replacement theology is is a heresy. So, um, what uh, dispensational uh, premillennial premillennialism is? It it holds that Christ will come before a seven year period of intense tribulation to take his church, living and dead, into heaven. Okay, and that. That is what was is called the time of Jacob's trouble. Now, I'm going to well, it looks like I don't have that one. But that would be Jeremiah thirty verses verse seven. I'm going to go find that one because uh, Jeremiah 30 verses 7 speaks of the time of Jacob's trouble, which we call the uh, the tribulation. And I think it's best as Christians if we stick to the Bible because that will define uh, what it is. And I'm going to read uh, Jeremiah 30 here. Okay, I'm going to start at verse 1. Uh, the word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. Okay, now I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to say, people say that back in 1947, that's what happened. But the problem is, they don't possess their whole land. From what I understand, is the land that Israel is supposed to possess is actually it's from let's go down here and I think I have this uh, I thought that I had, okay, the biblical boundaries of the land of Israel. And I'm going to show you the biblical boundaries of the land of Israel. 
Uh, I'm going to get down here. I, this, like I said before with these videos, is this is a good way for me. Now, I did a Bible study this morning when I got up. But this here is an excellent way for me to also study the Bible more and study what it really has to say and, and learn the truth. So when I get on here sometimes, I'm going to have what I want to say, but as I go through it, other things come to mind. So like this, I'm going to show you the true boundaries of the biblical boundaries of the land of Israel. Okay? Right here. This is the biblical boundaries. Now here's Alexandria, Egypt, over here. Okay, here's Kuwait. Here's Iraq. This goes up through Iraq. There's Syria. There's Damascus. There's Jordan. Okay, here's Turkey. So all of this, this, this green here, is the land. Okay, now, I don't know if they have the boundaries now, but this is not what they have right now. That, I, I love these maps. Okay. I'm having a great time here, everybody. But anyway, th these are the boundaries. But right now what you have is probably, if I take it, go over here, this here would probably be it. Okay? They only have a portion. And... What they have is not, I don't think, is even a third. It may be a third right now, but I'm going to go back here to the millennium, okay? The millennium, let's go up here, okay? There will be a thousand-year tribulation, okay? Jesus Christ will rule from the holy city. New, New Jerusalem, and he will rule for a thousand years, and after the thousand years, Satan, who will be bound during that thousand years, will be loosed, and then Jesus Christ, well, God, he will he will gather uh, the nations, as, and it says, as the dust of the earth, and he will gather all of them as the sands of the sea, I guess, and he will gather them, and fire will come down from heaven immediately and destroy them. So I believe that it's it's a literal interpretation. And yes, there in in the in Revelation there are symbols that you need to define. But this is a literal interpretation. Augustine back during the before Augustine in the beginning there was a uh, replacement theology. But it didn't take hold the way it did after Augustine, who did believe in a pre, in, in a millennial kingdom, and I think that he was called a Chiliast. That's what they called that, C-H-I-L-I-A-S-T. They believed that there is a true, literal, physical, millennial kingdom where Jesus Christ will rule from the throne of David, and the 12 apostles will rule the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? Because the millennial kingdom, okay, is for Israel, okay? Now, now, I, I got off there on a bit of a rabbit trail, but that's the land, okay, right here. This is the land, and they don't have that yet like some people would like having you uh, believe. Okay, they will return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. I ask ye now, and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. 
Okay, Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Okay, Jacob was Israel, became Israel, sorry. Jacob became Israel. So we need to go biblically. We need to look at things biblically and not take man's interpretation. Uh, Israel will have a time of trouble. And it will be to save a remnant. It, it says somewhere else in the word, which, let me, let me go back here. I think there's a, okay, Christ will reign upon the throne of David. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest. The Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. So Jesus Christ will reign, reign from a literal throne. Uh, but, There will be a remnant saved, and and that's what the, the millennial kingdom, like I said, is for Israel. Okay, this right here, they will have all of that, and all the nations will come up and worship. Okay, let's go back here. Okay, now, I believe in a rapture of the church. I believe in, in uh, let's see, I think they have Thessalonians here. Okay. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord that, okay. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. See, when Jesus Christ comes with his second coming, he's coming down. His foot will stand on the Mount of Olives and will split in half. Here, okay, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a video on the pre-trib rapture because I've learned quite a bit about this whole, there's, there's this nonsense going around about John Darby and Margaret MacDonald. And when you actually look into it, and study it, you find out that what these post tribbers are talking about, they got no idea what they're talking about. But we shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. We meet him in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Okay? Now I'm going to go back because I didn't realize that that does that. The last time when I put my uh, cursor on, it didn't pop it over. But I believe in the rapture. I believe that it, we will be raptured before, uh, because we're not appointed unto wrath. And that doesn't just mean hell. That means the wrath of God that will be poured out on the earth during the tribulation. And that is from the beginning. Now the millennium, now the antichrist will have start out peaceful. And at the, at the third part, at the halfway point of the tribulation, time of Jacob's trouble, time of Israel's trouble, will be, will be where he uh, claims that he's God. Okay, because then he'll probably be raised, raised up from the dead and, and all that. But uh, the whole tribulation, time of Jacob's trouble, is going to be wrath. It starts out small, and God ramps it up. Okay? So, I believe in a rapture. And that there also fits into the whole dispensational view. Okay, then you have the, he returns at the end, Christ returns at the end of the great tribulation and institutes a thousand year rule from the holy city of New Jerusalem. Okay, then the people that go into that, I'm going to go into Matthew 24 here. This here is a favorite of uh, of the post-trib because they, they, they talk about how this here, uh, now I'm not going to read the whole thing. But it talks about many things, of such as many will come in his name and say he's Christ. Okay, and this is leading up to this. And then, okay. Okay, let's see. Now the gospel of the kingdom 
Here. Okay, now it says he that endures unto the end, the same shall be saved. A lot of times people say, well, that means that you're going to have spiritual salvation, but that's not because it, it talks about uh, right here, let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house, neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes, and unto them that are with child and them that give suck in those days, but pray that your flight be not in winter, neither on the Sabbath, okay? For then shall be great tribulation, which was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor, shall ever, nor ever shall be. Okay, now that, that's where post, uh, some post-tribbers use that to say, see, we got to endure to the end. Uh, but that's, this here, he spoke, Matthew 24 was, Uh, spoken to the disciples because they said tell us when these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming when he talked about uh, uh, there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down okay the temple is no longer what they some some pe uh, preachers will tell you that the wailing wall is part of the temple no the temple mount is where the temple was, and the only thing on the Temple Mount right now is the Dome of the Rock. But he's talking to Jews here. This is them, okay, telling them what's going to happen to Israel. So Matthew 24, I, I, I'm going to have to get into that again. Like I said, this is, I've been going, I'm going a bit on rabbit trails here, and maybe you're a bit annoyed at me right now. But that's like I said, I like I, I kind of like that because that helps me to uh, keep this in mind, to learn more, to uh, just, you know, I love learning the word. So, uh, okay, so there is a, a thought, will be a thousand year reign there because of the difference between the church and Israel. We, we do have uh, promises. The promise of the fact that we will have a the, or the rapture, the glorified body, okay? And we, the church, will, will judge angels. So we have, you know, and, and we will have eternity. But Israel is God's chosen people. They are the elect. Unlike what the Calvinists want to tell you, that those who get saved are the elect. Israel is the elect, and God's not finished with his people. Now, during this time, there are uh, born-again uh, Jews, and they become part of the church. So, you know, when you, real, when you understand that, that there is going to eventually be a millennial kingdom where... Uh, Christ saves a remnant of Jewish people and Gentiles out of the tribulation. And that, let me get this, let me talk to you here. Okay. All right. Yeah, there I am. Okay. I tell you, I am, you know, I do weightlifting, and I I had a sinus cold uh, for all, uh, probably a month, and I'm getting back into weightlifting. And on Friday, when I came home from work, I did a heavy deadlift workout, and wow, that there kind of what I say is I get a weightlifting hangover. So I'm dealing with that because I'm kind of. Uh, a little mental here. Uh, my brain is kind of foggy, but I'm trying to figure out what I was talking about now. <laughs> so I'm sorry about this, people. Uh, I, I was hesitant about going into this, but Israel, like I said, you know, there, there's other passages where he talks about 
your, your young men will see visions, your old men will dream dreams, or I think it's your young men will dream dreams and your old men will see visions. And that is talking to the Jewish people too. And, you know, the like I said about, you, you need to make a distinction between Israel and the church. We have not replaced them, despite what people want to say. It, and the thing is, that, like I said, leads to a lot of a lot of heresy. Okay, you have people that are Hebrew roots movement, and they're out there telling you that it's a post-trib rapture. Well, the rapture at the end, well, it's not really a rapture at the end of the tribulation. It's a sheep and goat judgment, where those who believe the gospel, those who endured where they, they you know, ran and, and they, you know, to safety, are going to be led into the kingdom because Jesus says, you did this for me, you did that for me, okay? So this is judgment that these people are going to. Uh, and I, I have to study more of that. Uh, but anyway, the, the view that I see as being the right view is the dispensational premillennial, premillennialism view. And this is the right one because there will be a rapture of the church. There will be a time of Jacob's trouble where a remnant of Israel will be, God will judge the world and he will destroy the Antichrist, the false prophet, okay, and, and the beast and those who took the mark of the beast, they will all go into the lake of fire. Jesus will, when he comes back, and then he will instate, institute the millennial kingdom because Israel is still promised their land, as I showed you. That's a vast you know, land that they have, and nowadays it's like that. And they keep on, presidents keep on trying to, you know, compromise, and that ain't good. So, that's the view. All, that's the fourth view, okay? Okay, there's post-millennialism, there's amillennialism, and there's historical premillennialism, and all of them are anti-Israel. All of them claim that we have taken over we're at, for Israel. That the uh, there's there's a verse in if there's a there's a verse in Romans. Let, let me go back here where it speaks about how the branches of the wild olive tree that were grafted in are boasting against the branches of that of Israel. And that's what the replacement theology people do. You know, now, oh, we have all the promises now. No. Uh, let's see. That, I think that's Romans. I forget what that is anymore. But anyway, I can't find it here. I know verses, but I have such a hard time figuring out uh, figuring out the the verse. But uh, you probably know it. Some of you know it. It's it's not you know we're the church, okay? We are, it says how they will look at us and they will be envious of our, of our freedom and our liberty. And they'll, you know, go, what, what's, why? And, you know, some Jews will uh, become born again and become part of the church. But the rest, like if, boom, we're raptured now. The rest are going to have to follow 
what Jesus set down in Matthew 24 if they want to get saved and go into the millennial kingdom. So yes, there will be a rapture. There will be a time of Jacob's trouble. There will be a second coming of Jesus. Okay, our rapture, he's in the air. We go to meet him. Second coming. Then the millennial kingdom where Jesus will reign on the throne of David. The Jews will get their land back and the nations will come and worship. Okay, and glorify. So uh, that's all I have. And like I said, it, it, uh, I'm sorry about the uh, length of time this took and for my rabbit trails, but I hope that you got something out of that. You understand a little bit. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll get rid of these videos and I'll make something uh, a little uh, more, I don't know, uh, clear. <laughs> so uh, until next time, uh, if you want to come back next time, this is Kramer Unstuck.